Hi, it's Andy Val. Today I'm working on a Good Friends R129 from 88 Films. It's a great looking car, excellent shape and operating condition. Unfortunately, the door pocket hinges are broken, so we'll be replacing them. A common problem on these cars as they age. And once broken, they make unwanted and annoying sounds every time you go over a bump. We'll be going through all the steps to get this one done. So here are the new ones. Here are the new hinges. Now they're from this company RSC Auto Technique. They are made in Germany. Not a lot to them, but they're going to make a world of a difference. Now to get the old ones out and the new ones in, we need to remove the door panel. There's no way about it. I won't show the panel removal as part of this as part of this video because I already have a video that shows a complete step-by-step -step guide to remove and reinstall the door panel. The link will be shown in the description below. With the door panel removed, we can get the old ones out and the new ones in. So let's do it. All right, folks, no change of plans. We're going to show this door, but we actually learned quite a bit putting it together. So we decided to stop filming. We're going to film the other side, but here's the finished product. Pretty nice, pretty good. And we're going to tackle the other door now, now that we know the tricks. All right, so to get to it, you actually have to remove all of these and that'll here's this one's a real bad shape uh, and that'll sort of get this one out and that'll afford you a little bit more, a lot more space to get this piece out and then uh, then we'll put it all together okay we got most of them out now there's a couple of ones that are just spinning around and that's because they're they're kind of broken into the plaque it's the plastic pieces that are broken in there. You don't need them because they come they come near with the hinge, these pieces. So these are kind of just spinning around and to get to them, your best bet is to kind of just yank them out from over here as best you can. And they will start to fall off. And this piece just comes off. If you can sort of see it, I think they have been repaired at some other time. And you don't need to take this piece out. What holds these guys together are the, uh, you can see them here. There's the vacuum line. So no need to take them, no, we don't need to take it apart. I think we've done what we had to do is kind of remove this piece. And the piece we are going to be replacing is, is this guy. And to get to this piece, to get this out, there's a little bit of a, a bit of a rod in there. And Again, maybe over-engineered or not, but we've got to take out one screw, two screws, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just to yank this piece out, just so we could get this piece out and put in our new one. So let's do that. We won't film it. We're going to take all these out. So we've we've started to remove. We've kind of removed everything. Now the other thing that's missing here, these guys. Actually, this a it's an Allen key there. I'm actually using a two and a half mil. And that easily comes out. And the same thing on this side, another two and a half mil. So this, this hinge with a couple of screws that need to be taken off. Now with the new one, you're gonna notice the ones from our RSC, they don't actually they don't actually come with a hinge. Right? So this little I'm not sure what this piece does, it helps maybe it helps in some form, but it's not needed with the RSC piece. But you certainly need to take it out. It all kind of just starts coming apart. Not too hard. Just being held together. I want to lose track of these guys. Okay. And so here we go. So that so there you go. And the one thing we need to do, so it's being held together right now by this rod, and what we just need to do is just pull the rod out. All right, so that's it. So this kind of piece just comes out. You gotta have to struggle with it a little bit. Okay, there you go. Out with, out with the old, in with the new. And so this piece just comes right back together. The one thing we learned is that on the other side is that these little hinges here don't, are actually, they're not a very good fit uh, with the RSC. So they're kind of like, 
they're meant to give a little bit of a snapback, so we're, we're not we're not going to be using them. We don't think we actually need them either. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to slide the rod back in. Okay, so I think we've kind of got the thing now here. So we kind of have it here. It's kind of working, right? All right, so these little holes are going to kind of get into the door if you can sort of see them. There's, there's a number of there's a number of holes that match it, get it in there. But before you do that, you want to attach it to the actual piece, okay? Now just remember these a couple of these guys had coming out. You want to line these line these guys up nicely. Then you're going to want to put this piece back on. Just try to line it up. All right, so we've we've got everything back. We've attached everything, screws, the hinge, the new RSC hinge, and what and ultimately here, you're going to need to you're going to need to find the holes to get them in. Now you're going to notice at times, so and maybe you can see it right now. There's a hole there. That's an old one. You're going to need to pop that one out. Push it out. Comes out. There you go on the other side. See if there's any more. There's another one right there. Pop it out. I'm just going to use a little bit of force. Maybe it's a little tight still. Okay. Push it out. And you got to break it off anyway, so you might as well. There you go. And now it comes out on that side. It's another one over there. Just be forceful with it. Don't break anything here. Anything that's broken, you don't need it. So you definitely need to get the screws out from here. For the trick, you're gonna use a pliers and just need to reuse the screws for this and the screws are just start coming out. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. And we're ready to put this guy in again, line it up. Line up the holes. All right, one of the things you're also going to want to be careful about is how you're putting these guys on. Funny enough, there's a, there's a little bit of an Allen key, and they're sort of supposed to be adjustable, right? But make sure you kind of have it going and before you get tightening up everything. And I think we got it now. We're going to reverse this thing out, and we're going to go in with the screws. Now, if you come in close here, you could start to really see kind of like the ends of them. And that's where the screws are actually going in. All right, everyone, here's the final product. Looking good. Looking good. Thanks for watching, Handy Valve. Thanks for 88 Films. On the screen, you see a few of my R129 videos. Please check my playlist as I have dozens of R129 videos. And subscribe to see more as I post new videos regularly on R129s. Bye for now, Handy Valve.